If your refrigerator works, the compressor runs, but the system isn't cooling properly, then it could be an issue with the condenser fan. All refrigerators work in the same basic way. When cooling is needed, the cold control sends power to the cooling circuit. The compressor pushes the refrigerant through the system. In the freezer, heat is extracted by the evaporator coils and is released through the condenser coils behind the refrigerator. This process continues until the set temperature is reached. The condenser fan circulates air over the condenser coils and the compressor. If the fan stops working, then heat will not transfer effectively. A faulty condenser fan can also prevent the refrigerator from shutting off. The compressor will continue to run to try to keep the system cool. Additionally, a buildup of dust on the condenser coils can also restrict the transfer of heat. First, check if the fan blades spin freely. If it feels restricted or if there's any visible damage, then replace the fan. If you have a C-frame or round motor, then you can still test for continuity. Set your multimeter to the ohms or resistance setting. Now touch the probes to each terminal. Depending on the motor, there should be a resistance reading of around 20 to 4,000 ohms. Now if there's no resistance and no continuity, then the motor is faulty and should be replaced. Some motors can't be tested this way. If the resistance is more than 1 million ohms, then the motor likely has sealed internal components. This means you won't be able to test the resistance of the motor windings. If you're not sure if it's faulty, then it's still best to replace it. You can see how to install a new fan in the video linked below. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.